Okay, guys. I promised y'all my life story. And I haven't been here a while because I've been in a dark place. But here it goes. I was adopted when I was two months old. I grew up in Mac Roberts, which was an amazing place. I had an amazing family. And as I got a little bit older, probably the fourth grade, I was going by a house, seeing a woman sitting there, and I said, she looks like me. I think that's my mom. Well, my birth, well, not my birth mom, but the mom that raised me said, yeah, that's your biological mom. So, okay. Then everything came out that I was adopted when I was two months old. And my phone's dying. Hang on. And kind of caused me a lot of problems growing up. A lot of hate in me. I have all grudges. I don't know if it's stay. I hope it does. Anyways, there were six of us all together. My brother being Otis, which is Chris. Talk to him when I can. He got in a little bit of trouble. He's in prison. Hopefully getting out this November. Um, I got two brothers. I don't know where they're at. The name is Denny and Sean. And right here is Denny. And then Sean is... It's Chris and Sean, I think. I think this one is Sean. It says July 1984 on the back of it. And I had a brother named Matthew, which Matthew passed away when he was like two months old. And that is his picture of him in his casket. I know some people don't like it, but my story and my picture is my brother. Um... He died in 83. Still searching for my brothers. Haven't been successful since then. Because I've been searching. Um, my life's been kind of on the hellish side. Um... I had a good life though, just where I found I was adopted, it kind of messed with me. I always had those questions, why? And I found out, because I actually got shot to my biological mom, my biological dad. Um, my, my biological mom, that's a, that they, they just couldn't care for all of us. So they didn't want to give us up, but they had no other choice. Which I can see that. If you can't do better for your children, then give them the best life you can with somebody else. My biological mom recently passed two or three years ago. I had to look. I got it right down. My biological dad's still living. Um, but anyways, growing up, knowing I was adopted was bad. They sent me to psychiatrist, which didn't end well. Um, I got into it with her. And I even went to social services trying to get them to tell me where my brothers were at. They said when I got 21 that they would tell me where they're at. I got 21. They never told me where they was at. They said I could write a letter to Lexington. They posted it in the files. If they was to look for me, then they could give them that letter and pictures and whatever I sent, which I did that. I still haven't heard anything. Um, which I would love to see them. I got a bunch of nieces and nephews. I got my little sister, Nikki. She... 
has um two girls and two boys at one. One little boy was deceased when he was born. Um, got my own kids. Got three amazing kids, teenagers. Um, my oldest brother has two children, which is Alex and Brianna. And Brianna has two children, which she just had a baby. So I'm a great aunt. I suppose she's a little closer to me. And yes, I smoke. Um, I have all kinds of aunts and uncles that I talk to, which my aunts and uncles growing up was amazing. Like I said, I had an amazing family growing up. Um, sorry if y'all can hear the background, it's close to the road. Um, after talking to my biological parents, it kind of eased my attitude and stuff. But as I got older, it calmed down. I just had a lot of hate and grudges and all that stuff, like I said before. But I'd really like to find my brothers just to see if I have any more nieces and nephews or if they're still alive or see if they want to meet. Because I've got told that they probably don't even want to meet. Which I've got some stories, but I'd rather not tell them. Um, when I was 14, I got pregnant with Hunter. And I wouldn't take it back, change it for the world. Then when I was 17, I had Shauna, and then 19, I had Autumn. And I was very blessed with my children. Been rough, but it's been a good life with my kids. And I got married in 2000, 2007, September, 20, September 22nd, 2007, to someone. And that lasted... 10, 11 years, which we've been together on and off since I was 14, 13, and um, we went on and off, and we're separated, been separated two years now, I got with somebody, but we just recently split, um, which I'm still married, we haven't got divorced yet, but now my husband's family was always good to me, always there for me. They helped us out a lot. Just like my adoptive parents did. My adoptive parents did everything for us. Like his family did. Um, we were all real close. This is what has happened in my lifetime. I'm 33. Some people say it's not old, but I feel old. With the fibromyalgia and all kinds of health problems and back problems and all kinds of stuff. Maybe one day I'll find my brothers, though. Um, and that might help a little bit. My adoptive parents, they, um... Had a boy, had a son named Danny Ray. He passed away when he was 13. He had brain cancer. And I've got an older sister. We're 18 years apart, but we're really close. And she gave me two nieces. All my nieces, nephews, and my kids are my life. Um, I've got all kinds of cousins. Well, it's been a roller coaster. It's still a little rocky, but I'm getting there. Um, there's a lot of stuff that I like to say, but I can't. Cause I probably get trouble for it. Cause it's not only about me; it's about my past. But we'll just keep that 
say grayling. Um, I found out that I had fibromyalgia, herniated disc, ruptured disc, scoliosis. I'm, I'm also full blown diabetic. I gotta take a shot once a week to keep it under control. Gotta drink a lot of water. Watch what I eat. Um, I have a fatty liver. I have a few things wrong with me, but no diseases, thank God. Um, yes, I say I'm a lot. My kids are my life. My oldest one is just turned 19. My middle one just turned 16. My youngest one is 14. My cigarette went out. All teenagers. Wouldn't have it any other way. Their dad does good. They, he does what he can for them. Actually, does everything for them, and I appreciate everything that he does do for them. Um, he's their dad, so he loves them. Long story that I could tell all day. Some of them I just can't tell. Don't want to tell. I'm not sure there's a lot of people like that. I love my kids. There's a reason why I live, breathe, get up every morning. People say, oh, you was too young, and you shouldn't have had them that young. I'm glad I didn't have them that young. i did it over again if I had the chance. Because now with my condition and stuff like that, I could have done it. And on my husband's side, his brother has two kids. And I love them to death. Don't get to see them. But I still love them, consider them as my nephews. They're my life also. My husband's mom and all are amazing. Love them. The older I get, the more I realize. About stuff. I went about stuff wrong. That I shouldn't have, but I was young and dumb. So all the young kids out there, they need to listen to their elders. They know exactly what they're talking about. And some of my stories and stuff may get mixed in, mixed up, because I forget stuff and I'll just randomly say stuff where it It'll be in the middle of a story, and I'm like, oh, and then say it, and then, yeah, I'll probably confuse you a bunch. Thanks to fibromyalgia, foggy mind. And it sucks. Sucks being in pain every day. Sucks that you can't really do anything every day. You have to get up and push yourself to do it, to accomplish your things. Um, anyways, about me and my husband, um, we went our separate ways.
I don't know how to say this. Um, we was together since we was 13. I always love him. And appreciate everything he does for our kids. But right now it's complicated. Because he has someone and... Okay, for example, I see him a text the other day saying, Happy birthday. Hope you have a great day. And I, re I said, thank you for all you do for our kids. I really do appreciate it. Didn't get nothing sent back. And then the other morning I got something back. And I know it wasn't him. I know who it was. And then I think they blocked me off his phone. But this is the thing. No matter what, I have realized this also. If you have kids together, and you're going to be in their lives for the rest of their life, the mother and the father is going to be in each other's lives too. And they have to communicate for the children. Whether your spouse, your husband, wife, whatever, don't like it, the kids are the number one priority. They come first. Sorry. But they do. And hating my kids is not a choice for anybody. My kids are wonderful. They're an amazing bunch of kids. I don't see how anybody could hate a child anyway. All children love them. Anyways... I guess that's going to be all for today. I will try to hop back on here tomorrow. Because I'm starting to hurt really bad. So, I guess that's all. And I will see y'all hopefully tomorrow. If not, the next day. Thanks.